does. So it'll be four generals. Yep, and one support. Here we go. I decided to use my new paint scheme on this guy's R. Um, usually I was I would always keep it with the retro wave type, whether pink, teal, or purple and teal kind of. But now I've got like a this new scheme going where um, got the red, red, yellow, and white on it. So yeah, it's kind of looks a little too bland, but it's a new one. Here we go. Commence operation. As always, this is one of my favorite generals because the way that it can front line and it can use its range as well, having both the rifle and beam cannons with ASL that they lock on just makes it for that much lethal of general. See how much I can try to survive see are already able to aim and stun right there try to get out of their line of sight right there ooh Got him. So I took out the Zakuzaku. Next. Got the Regelgu. <laughs> Scouting this Zakuzaku. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah, look. Stunned him. Got him. Ooh, I knocked over my Mathis teammate. I'm sorry, buddy. Ooh. They would roll out of that. Regelgu. I knew I wouldn't survive that. The good thing is I was able to clean him up a bit. Um, I was able to clean up three suits, I think. And I was able to do some damage. And that's and that's just the beauty of the Gaz R is that it's such a good frontline suit. Like it's literally to me one of its top tier generals. It may not be as good as the Gundam MK2, or it may not be as good as a Rick Diaz, but it stacks up there in the sense that it can hold its own because it's got two dodge rolls, not one, and it can also. And it just the beam cannon stagger after accumulated. Your to group up. So it's getting a little hectic over here. Oh man, I can't. I can't rush in blindly, but I can go on the offensive once. They whittle down just a little more. And then... Got him. I didn't need to roll out of that, but I did. One thing we must learn when we're frontlining is to try to conserve as much energy as possible. Cycle Zaku's running a bit. He's trying to trying to bait me into over there. That's not gonna happen. And, and that's why I love this suit is that it can stack so much damage as a general that not you know it's not fully melee based, but it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I was able to stun lock him, but I can't approach. Hold on. Ooh. 
Ooh, I was able to counter the Rogelgu. Able to do 3,000 on that hit. Yeah, that was Galgu is a really tough battle though. I was able to take out take out the rig up. I shouldn't have rolled out of that again. Messed up. Like we're ahead for now. Ooh. I gotta get out of the range of fire. Ooh, ooh. This is an intense battle, I'll give you that. It's very tough because I'm right in the front lines and Ooh, and I got the Rigoku again. I've been having a good match so far. However, the score can quickly change. I need a pick up. Got him too. Not bad, not bad. Tense, where is this dude? Oh, I wanted to do it for my downswing. Oh well. My Mathis, I'll trust him. Five seconds. And. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but neither is theirs. I'm still clashing with this dude. Oh, I finally died. Oh, so I think that's my second death? I figured with all that being under fire by all the different types of suits, I figured I wouldn't last long, but see how the scores can suddenly change and they're catching up. One thing I do like is that this Gazar, it really packs a punch. I gotta hit them where I can. Gotta hit them hard. Got him. Oh crap. They're pushing too hard. But, overall, we won this game. And it was alright, it was good. But it was close. And that's because I was there in the front line, and eh, I could have done better in damage, but it was decent, 110k. Oh. But it was nice catching up with you all. This is Asher of 1519, you got some praise. also known as Riggs, and I'll be posting this shortly.